says ni jambo hutokea hasa za kiroho wakati ambapo badara ya kuendelea kuwa na nguvu unazidi kuchanganyikiwa kupotesa nguvu na kuwa na shaka one thing instead of getting closer to god you realize una enda bali na yeye na unachanganyikiwa and yet unafikiria wewe ni mzuri you think you are strong but you are dry you think you are making uh, uh, you are you are making some move lakini kati tukikuona let me example uh, there was a time tunadada alikuwa tukienda kesha ukimpa microphone kila wakati hata sikupewa alikuwa anaomba wimbo ile wimbo alikuwa anaimba nivumilia roho yangu vumilia roho yangu majaribu ni kama moto yanayochoma bwana naomba unisaidie any time ile wimbo yake Dugu moja kaniambia bishop hiyo wimbo mimi haitanijenga u dada kuna shida hii kila wakati vumilia roho yangu vumilia vumilia you see this person ukimwa ukimtazama ni kama naabudu lakini wimbo wimbo anayeimba unaonyesha kuna kitu kingine ndani kuna mtu kipea mic Statement ya kwanza atasema wapendwa siku hizi ni siku baya maisha ni magumu sana na anahubiri ujumbe wa kuonyesha ubaya na ungumu that message itself inaonyesha kuna kitu ndani yake kinamsumbua and that's why katika jina la Yesu ni vizuri sana watu ambao tunaishi sasa we experience deliverance from crisis deliverance from crisis now musiki moja ambao utafanya mashabulisi ya kinja uyashinde musiki moja ni musingi unaoitwa the foundation of righteousness the foundation of righteousness tukiangalia kitabu cha daniel chapter 6 daniel chapter 6 <clears throat> Daniel chapter 6 twende hapo sasa Daniel chapter 6 Danieli alitupwa na mfalme Dalio wa Persia katika shimo la Siba waliokuwa na jaa wamrarue wamalize punishment ukiangalia vizuri mfalme alikuwa ameamua na ameamuru watu waabudu sanamu if you check daniel chapter 6 verse 10 baada hiyo amri kutoka bible inasema hata danieli alipojua ya kuwa yale maandiko yamekwisha kutiwa sahihi haleluya already imetiwa sahihi whoever hata abudu sanam abao mfame amepeana atupwe kwenye shimo la shiba bible says danieli alipojua ya kuwa yale maandiko yamekwisha kutiwa sahihi akaingia nyumbani mwake na madirisha katika chumba chake yalikuwa yamefunguliwa kukabiri Yerusalemu akapiga magoti mara tatu kila siku akasali akashukuru mbele za bwana wake kama ilivyokuwa alivyokuwa akifanya tokea hapo bwana asifiwe sana na you, you, you see friends kama hatari uliopangiwa utaishinda Lazima uwe na msimamo haleluya wa maombi usioharibu. I say you need to make a covenant and a commitment definitely
definite covenant ya maombi ambao unaheshimu na uharibu na aina ya maombi unaounda ni maombi ambao yaweza inua moyo wako yaweza inua nafsi yako yaweza sababisha upate nguvu kwamba maovu ya kija yatakupata uko tayari raise a pattern of prayer that you also raise a capacity in you to this third battles kuna maombi watu huomba hayakuundi kama mwanajeshi hayakutengenezi kama mtu ambaye maovu ya kija utayashida ni kama tu kushukuru kwa sababu ya chakula kuna maombi wapendwa mtu upanga akijua i know nina adui either wanadamu au shetani au hali i know the greatest enemy in this life is my enemy i know shetani hunitafuta na atatumia leo watu kesho atumie pesa the other time atumie my people i know mimi huishi nikiwa na adui na nitaomba maombi ambao ni ya mtu anayepigana na maadui wa lebo hiyo isalimieni na kutangazia leo raise a prayer pattern raise a prayer move that really shows wewe ni mtu ambao ako tayari kushinda hiyo ndio kitu itakusaidia otherwise kukaa tu kukaa tu na maombi ya chakula sijui maombi ya maji na kuambia utakuwa na shida that's why danieli akaingia kwa nyumba akafungua dirisha akaomba kama ameangalia Jerusalem kama ilivyokuwa desturi yake mara tatu kwa siku na mwanasema kwamba basi watu walipokusanyika wakasema Danieli astakiwe na atupwe kwenye shimo la siba if you check your bible aya 20 Danieli alitupwa Danieli alitupwa ukienda verse 20 <clears throat> bible inasema hivi asubuhi mfalme akaondoka mapema akaenda kwa haraka paka penye lile tundu la siba naye alipokaribia ile tundu akamlilia Danieli kwa sauti ya huzuni mfalme akanena akamwambia Danieli E Danieli mtumishi wa Mungu aliye hai juu. Mungu wako unayemtumikia daima aweza kukuponya na siba hawa. Ndipo Danieli akamwambia Mfalme Mungu wangu amenitumia malaika wake. Naye ameyafumba makanwa ya simba. Nao hawakunidhuru kwa kuwa bere zake mimi nalionekana kuwa sina hatia na tena mbele yako mfalme sikukosa neno this is power of righteousness kuna wakati wapendwa unaweza ka maisha ambao the way you walk with god umejenga msimamo fulani unaopendeza mungu na kukubalika kuna hatua za maisha ambazo huonyesha mtu ni mtakatifu. Not just living. Not just kuishi tu. Kuna mambo mtu upitia. Kuna maamuzi mtu ufanya. Kuna msimamo hutokea. Hallelujah. Na wacha tu Mungu hata wanadamu. Hata wanadamu. Wacha hata wanadamu. There is a way you register righteousness. Kabisa it is known this man is a man of god hallelujah now righteousness ni msimamo uliodhibitika unaokubalika ulio na kibali mbele za mungu kwamba waweza simama hivi bingu ikutetee hallelujah 
Waweza sipamba tu hivi. Mtu akifikia uko peke yako, jeshi la malaika lishuke likuzunguke. Waweza tuenda pahali unagojewa na wachawi, kutokee farasi za mbinguni zinaanza waka, zitawanya wachawi. Kuna msimamo uko nao ambao unakupatanisha na serikali ya mbinguni. Ukifikiriwa wewe ni wa kawaida, wewe ni VIP of the kingdom. Haleluya. Na Mungu anapoongea kukuhusu anasema my servant my man my woman God has possessed you mpaka he can claim you Jesus is Lord Hallelujah Kitu kingine hutokana righteousness ni wewe mwenyewe kujijua Kuna kitu utokea ndani ya mtu ukiti Mungu sana ni kama roho mtakatifu anakutia muhuri na unajua na mimi sitapugukiwa wala bwana hata niacha ukinitisha uniambie unajua there was a time nilihitaji pesa kiasi it was 7 million na nikawa kwamba hiyo jambo linanisumbua sana nataka nikienda kuomba Nasikia maoni mwangu hata kama sioni pesa nasikia sauti nasema that money nitapata somewhere i didn't know where lakini hata bila kuna kitu kinaongea ndani kwamba there's no way utafika pahali tu waibike pu apana god is your friend na kuna mambo hata ruhusu itokee hiyo hali Hello praise God. And thank God. Hiyo pesa ikiwa imebaki few hours. God made sure niko naye kwa account. Na sikaibika. Mtu akiwa mtiifu kuna kitu kitatokea ndani yako kinaosema I know hata kama kuna nini sitaibika. That's why you can sing Psalm 23 the Lord is my Do you know it? Hallelujah. Can you say after me? Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Sitapugukiwa na kitu. Katika malisho ya majani mabichi hunilaza. Kando ya maji ya utulifu huniongoza. Huniwisha nafsi yangu na kuniongoza katika njia za haki kwa anchi ya jina lake nijapopita kati ya bonde la uvuli wa mauti sitaogopa mabaya kwa maana wewe upo pamoja nami gongo lako na fimbo yako vya nifariji wandameza bere ya bele yangu machoni watesi wangu umenipaka mafuta kichwa nipangu kikombe changu kinafulika ina mkono hivi hakika wema na fadhili zitanifuata siku zote za maisha yangu nami nitakaa nyumbani mwa Bwana milele pigia Yesu makofu apendwa No! utajipata wewe mwenyewe unasema you know na siku jivuna ni kitu roho wa bwana is like a confession drawn for the holy ghost ni kama roho wa bwana kuweka muhuri ni japo pita kwenye bonde la ufalme wa uh, hata ruhusu hata ruhusu nione mabaya righteousness is speaking amen maadui wako wako wana kaniwe maskini na niishe lakini unanipaliki na magari na manyumba wakiona tu the testimony of righteousness hallelujah hallelujah bwana asifiwe paka unaongea sitapugukiwa na kitu uhakika wa bwana is so real new that kind of thing is very important haya can i tell something 
Ukiangalia Psalms 23 kuna space ya crisis yes Where is crisis Border la uvuri wa nini wa mauti can imagine That is crisis Kwamba yani mahali ulikuwa jameni Shukari kepanda The way mtu fulani aliamua kukuumiza ugapata blood pressure The way kulipangwa he ugekufa kabla ya wakati wake But now kwa maana Jehovah ni rafiki yako badara ya kuwa na stomach ulcers badara ya kuwa na blood pressure kile kilinuka ndani yako ni Holy Ghost with the standard I, the Holy Ghost with the, the Holy Ghost raised my standard akaniambia wewe sio wale watu upatwa na blood pressure wewe sio wale watu ambao upatwa na stomach cancers Jehovah is your shepherd you will not lack the Holy Ghost raised the standard akasema don't worry ha don't worry ni huyu ataku kuwa na huyu eh utaona mabaya may god give you power of righteousness build it friend build it usikae tu baisa ibada ibada hapa wacha monday tuesday popoto ripitia ijulikane kwamba mitihani ya utakatifu ulipita ulikuwa kasirike you overcame it ulikuwa uchafuke the week ulipanga ukachafuka pakao kaulizwa kwani wewe si bishop kama wengine kama wewe kwani wewe si mama kama wengine wasema i can't do it i cannot do it i remember one time kuna mwanasiasa mmoja nilikuwa kwa ofisi yake akafungua saduku ilikuwa na millions of money akaambia bishop hii pesa ni ya campaign ya Nairobi hii mimi ndio naongoza campaign ya Nairobi Nikawa mbia ma hapana nataka tuende pale tuongee. Nikawa nataka tuende na yetu kaone town crack Nairobi. Kabia sa bishop. Nani anatakiwa kusaidia mwingine? Do something. Aliingiza mkono hivi achukue bunch of money. That could have been almost a million. Nikamwambia no by my brother, hiyo siwezi guza hata dururu. I can't touch campaign money. Utakapo maliza campaign we shall meet the attempt to require na governor moja hapa kaza bishop kwa nini hauchukui sadaka ya wanasiasa why don't you take our offering why don't you take our money nikamwambia yes i don't do it wakati wa campaign if i do it i will not be a bishop before god i will be bishop jina but not before god hello please god From that time from that time mimi wale my MP na my governor about to now now we are friends na heshima ina ka and I'm always a bishop I never eat their money amen, amen. hallelujah bwana yesu ainuliwe amen bwana yesu ainuliwe amen you see ni vizuri ujue haukai duniani siku mbili haukai duniani nini Siku bili unakaa duniani miaka na miaka na unahitaji kule mbele sauti takaoongea nasema utahitaji katika shimo la shiba sauti ambayo itaongea kule ndani ndani alisema Mungu alifumba vinywa vya simba because bere zake sikuwa na uovu na mbele ya kufame i had no evil of righteousness spoke hallelujah hallelujah na kuambia haukai duniani siku mbili haukai duniani tu vile mnaona mamba hapa hapa na dunia haikai vile mnaona hapa weza amuka upate watu wako na buduki wasema tutakuua badala ya kufa bwana akubuke rekodi yako ya mema Waza ingia kwa shinda kama King Hezekiah aliabua nao brother 
jiadae utakufa enda abia mke wako na kufa record ya righteousness ikanena aligeukia bwana akamwambia mungu kubuka vile tumetembea na wewe isaya akaambiwa rudi mwambie nimemuongezea 15 years righteousness is good build it crisis wazee wa ikadisa msikize you need it shida moja ya wazee is that they don't work out righteousness kama kuna watu ujiachilia na wanaume wanategemea jina mwanaume mpaka wakati wanaume utakuwa reduced ndio taanza kulia kama mama kuta wazee halili mugu Mungu hataki uzee ambao hauli. Wewe ni uzee wa kwako. Uzee wa Mungu hulilia Mungu hata kuliko wa mama. Hayezi pika magoti hapa. Kwa sababu ako na suti na ni Mungu wana. Hiyo ni uzee wa ukabani na muranga. Na uyugish. Ule uzee wa Mungu. Wewe ndio taanguka hapa ugagae hapa ukilia machozi because you really thirst for God. Mkiongozwa na uzee wa kwenu nyumbani na uzee wa kwako. Nimeona siku hizi wazee wengi ukigia kwake kuna kiti yake. Ukikaa bia walk away hiyo ni ya mwenye boma. Sawa, lakini hiyo si ya Mungu ni ya kwako. Na huu ni uzee wa kwako. Na shetani asa kukutoa hapo na akunyonge na ukufia kwa hiyo kiti. You need you need righteousness. Nina kiti kingine isipokuwa hiyo kwangu kwamba I can stand before God. Nimwambie God you are my strength na anasema ndio my servant. That one mara nyingi sana hatari ikija hiyo jambo hukuokoa. Na badala ya kuwa muoga ndani yako nasikia roho wa Bwana anakutia mafuta anakutia muhuri anakuambia fear not i'm with you fear not i'll fight them fear not i open the way fear not i know where i'm taking you may god raise the voice of righteousness in your soul in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name hallelujah amen Hakuna mwanaume atakiwa kutishwa na mke wake kifedha. You are prophet. Ambia mama that says the Lord, hiyo pesa nitaleta. Paka ndio za haya. Unajua wa mama wengine anajua una pesa. Na mnajua wa mama isipokuwa Mungu awaokoe sana ile nyoka igari na wandama. Yes true. Si wafichi mama yoyote ambaye haobi hutumiwa na shetani vile awa alitumiwa hiyo ndio ukweli are you understanding any woman who is not praying atatumua hivyo tona amekaa kwa kona na madai na mambo mengine hello Wazee mwe wa oba Japan kuwa wazee wa suti na tutubo mwe wazee makuhani wa Bwana Hallelujah Kuna my friend moja alikuwa anapenda magari sana Prado na nini alipo alikufa akinyang'anywa gari mpya um, uh, niko na uchungu sana nikijua that man we discovered alikuwa anaka estate moja hapa chini na anakaa rumu mbili hage ruhusu ujue kwake kile angetaka ni kutokea kwa mkutano na kasuti na katubo na prado muna mheshimu hivyo kwake wezi jua alipokufa ndio tulijua anakaa rumu mbili na hajalipa miezi ine. mke wake kwenda kazini was a manager alikuwa apate benefits za almost 30 million or something like 20 million between 20 and 30 million aliambua mama you cannot get anything pesa yote ya mume wako imeenda kwa madeni na magari so the wife had nothing 
na kile kiletesha kwa ni kwamba even today watoto hawakusoma na waliharibika wali they cry the children of a manager the children of prado owner na sio prado peke yake magari ya juu we usitisha watu na hii na tunakuona hapa tutaka uwe na power of righteousness power of kwamba kuna kitu kinakufuata kinasema the lord is my shepherd i will not want there is power and confession of righteousness righteousness ni msimamo fulani ambao unakubalika bele za bwana na Mungu ata make sure kwamba you have it kukitokea aibu anakuja some somehow atatokea na aseme this my servant kupakwa jama one day somebody told me bishop nilipanga jama na ikachukua pesa niende kalio bank nilipe watu upigo risasi what bishop i thought you should die you know sometimes tunapitia mambo mengine akasema tu askia now i should die i don't know why nyi amujui kwa ba hii mambo tunaona tunakibisha naye you don't know you don't know you people you don't know the other day kuna bishop monja very famous kenya alikula chakula five star hotel ili fichwa lakini alikuwa icu the same same day and time another bishop na walikuwa walipokuwa kienda somebody came kwa kia bishop don't you are also a target don't try to eat in any hotel i said no i don't know you, you see why nothing else ni kuwa na ni si mo bishop wote ba bishop ni kuwa ni bishop ambaye amejaribiwa na wanawake akajaribiwa na matisho and the only option satan anataka sasa we can kill this one kuna wale wanajulikana wa bishop wa sharati ba bishop wizi hao shetani hajali ya noa kuna wengine wasema sitajitia unajisi the devil amekujaribu hapa ngapo nini sasa kile kimebaki uniwa wawe huaniambia alipokuwa kienda aliambia jaribu jaribu na ni mtu hajaokoka jaribu nitakuwa wewe na nyumba yako atarudi I, I pray that God utakana Mungu sana hata bila kujua tu ataambia your enemy who you are may God introduce the secret place yake na wewe kwa all your enemies amen, amen. amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah wana wewe mlio hapa mke wako akujui anakujua kama mzee ambaye anazaa watoto na yeye why don't you introduce your priesthood to your wife anakujua kama baba kamau tebea na yeye anajua una pesa but uliposema the lord will provide it happened alijua ulikuwa karibu kuchotwa na alikuwa anajua nyumba itauzwa lakini katikati anaona mungu anakupigania Paka na sema I know my husband is beyond being a husband he is a priest of the most high the voice of righteousness Amen. let your wife know kuna mahali hutalia na yeye kuna mahali utafika kuna machozi utamwaga there are areas where your god cannot allow you uibike and that's why I was there hapana kana mama hapo from january to december wacha mama ajue wiki tatu huku weko ulikuwa kwa mlima mliharibika mlipooa mliharibika kama unajua adam aliharibika kama kuna mtu doa ilimharibu ni adam adam alipopata muke alikubatia badala ya kushukuru mungu mungu amempa muke alisifu mama mifupa ya mifupa nyama ya nyama hiyo wimbo liendelea mpaka akasao sheria ya bwana paka anything mama namwambia kula tuda can you imagine ni jukumu langu kama 
baba kujua katika familia yangu mimi ndio mtunzaji wa ahadi na nadhiri za Bwana wengine wakiniacha na wanitese na nini i will preserve the covenant mwanaume ndio mtunzaji wa sheria za Bwana kwa nyumba others can change but you are the custodian of the law kama kuna sheria utakatifu i'm the custodian kama kuna sheria tithing sasa imekuwa wazee wengine mtoi tithing mama ndio anakukumbusha wazee wengine haamuki mapema unaamsha mama saa tatu. ati tadhuri time utoi kitu shana ate mama ndio anakuambia saa tatu. unaoga saa tano. jioni unakula hauogozi maombi Mama ndiye anakukumbusha si uamko karale. Yaani Ah, wazee habari yenu sina ubaya. Mko dada mudha ile. Sio ndio ijili. Nyinyi wadada sio ijili mzuri kwenu. Ukataka kaza ya baba. Wadada sikiza, mtu anaamka, hana idea. Anakaa. Yenyewe ali, we, ulimpatia, ulimkawabia na kupenda. Ah, ndio hiyo. Akakula breakfast, ukamwacha hapa kwa TV. Ukarudi mwanaume kabisa mkubwa ako kwa PlayStation ukampata jioni ukampikia sometimes you wonder who married who ah and that's when they appear youth mtu akisha zaliwa mwanaume the second thing unahitaji number 2 number 2 new a priest of jehovah number 3 occupation career Number four, why? Because the wife should find the two offices. Kitabu wa kuje nilijua Jehovah na sheria zake. And I'm the keeper of the law. Na kitabu wa kuje, Jehovah alinipa occupation. Kwa maana wakati mungu aliupa Adam na Eve, the second thing alipea na ni shaba. Na yyo shaba ilikuwa na matuda aina tatu. Na tuda moja ilikuwa tuda la sheria. Na ba zungukeni mko na don't touch this one. The husband should keep that law. Tell your wife, tell your children this one must remain the way our God said. Hallelujah. Wakuisa why huwa wabia hakuna majibu. Hakuna maswali mnauliza ya nini? Kiube aliye toa kwa matope aulize muubaji maswali do you know sheria za Mungu baba because of who he is he does not need to explain to the creation Mungu hana hajibiki kujibu viumbe maswali mengine akisema amuka abudu abudu akisema mubatizo ndani ya maji hata kama maji ni baridi ingieni hata hoa ina baridi baridi gani hutakufa wakati ulikuwa na malaria ulikufa na ulikuwa unatamaka May God help us to build righteous power. Hey hey. Atendikitebea hivi. Jehovah anajua this man can even die for me. Ninapoinua mikono, nikimwambia God I love you. Jehovah anajua hakika naongea ukweli. Kwa maana nakumbuka part A na part B na part C akiunganisha sema surely this my man. Sasa wasema unampenda fungu la 10 ulikuwa asubuhi. Jana jana wakati tulikuwa tunaomba ulikuwa naona sijui sijui wada huu. Bwana uligwa dunia hana ate. Wakati Mungu alikuwa hapa anaponya watu tunaabudu. Wewe na wewe unajua kabisa. Mlikuwa mnakaa na mke wako. Unaona unaona kipindi kingine ya jamaa mwingine alikufa na ngali nakuja tu. Mwana check. You know Mungu na shidwa. Who are these people? Who am I to them? Hao watu sasa wakiingishwa katika tudu la siba. Kuna sauti ya utakatifu itanena. Hao watu wakiabiwa watakufa kama Hezekia. Kuna kitu inaweza pinduka waniambie. Mtu ambao kukiwa na Bible study ko swimming mtu ambao tukiwa revival anaona ball 
huyu mtu in case kutokea tisho aweza pinduka ambie Jehovah kumbuka I've worked with you what what power of righteousness can speak in crisis na i want to tell the truth mungu si mungu wa kustukiwa mungu ni mungu wa kuishi naye walk with god your walk will speak hallelujah 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 oh my god i wish we, i wish unaweza inua mkono jehovah akubuke that's why daudi alipoenda bere ya saul so akamwambia wewe gentleman you are too tiny you have no experience huchafikisha miaka 20 na saul akaambia david goriath is advanced na amekuwa kwa vita ako na record ya vita daudi naye akasema we sauli i can also produce my record the record of righteousness akasema the young man you see around simba alitokea akienda kushika kodoro nikaokoa kodoro aliponirukia nikamshika nikamua the boy you see here has a testimony from the past dumbu ikaja nikaiua mungu ambaye ametembea na mimi katika experience a na b hata c nitamuona aliyekuwa na mimi a and b can also speak in c if i've nothing to speak for me righteousness will confirm oh my god kama mapepo ya goriatho hainijui hainijui it is just enough for god create a video I'm be a boy up Philistine. The tiny boy you see there, dear who you are kiwa siba. The tiny boy unachezea pale, dear who you are kiwa bear. Goriath, don't look at the size. This boy has voice and power of righteousness. Huyu ni kijana siba kija. Jehovah nampa nguvu ya kuua. Huu ni kijana ambao dubu ikija kuna sauti namwambia you can sit back and watch this rise up badala ya kutetemeka badala ya kuwa na blood pressure badala ya kuwa na stomach ashes it is the spirit that rises in him naomba wakati wa dhiki roho wa bwana jatainuka sio machozi na sio uoga na hiyo ndio njia moja ya kushida crisis build the power of righteousness i say build the power of righteousness time has come amen we may not continue this message because time is gone so much the other issues we can cover but maybe for the service if you be able to to want to the other part we will cover and maybe another day the power deliverance from crisis deliverance from my god if you read psalms 90 utasikia the testimony of the righteousness na utaona out come moja ya mtu kuwa rafiki wa yehova is how god walk with you in crisis ukienda psalms 91 bible inasema ina inaelezea first of all inaelezea maisha inasema he who dwells sio mwenye anatembelea mugu sio mwenye anamka tu sad sad ndio siku ya ibada mando na kuwa mtu mwingine ambaye haeleweki hata kazini waste our testimony bible inasema he who dwells Amen. Can you say after me, he who dwells in the sacred place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty 
aketie mahali pasiri pake aliye juu atakaa katika uvuli wake mwenyezi the lifestyle ya righteousness and it will produce it will produce eh kitu kingine wakati wa vita for instance if you check verse 91 inaongea kuhusu how a righteous man go through crisis now but asama i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him i will trust amen and then number three, in our good deliverance in crisis surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the pharaoh and from the, from the perilous pestilence he shall cover you with the feathers and under his wing you shall take refuge his truth shall be your shield and buckler you shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by the day hallelujah 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 hautaogopa hovu ya usiku wala mshale urukao mchana wala tauni ipitayo gizani wala uwele uharibuo adhuhuri ijapo watu elfu waanguka ubavuni pako na amkumi elfu mkono wako wa kuume hata hivyo hawatakukaribia hau wewe mm hallelujah hallelujah verse nine, kwa kuwa wewe bwana diwe kiblio langu umemfanya aliye juu kuwa makao yangu jesus we love you for walking with us in crisis jesus we love you for the anointing during warfare kwa ba 10000 can fall on my side jesus i bless you let's start and worship the lord he is so good he is so good he is so good nikufana nishe nani ni bwana Nikufana nishe nani ni bwana Nikufana nishe nani ni bwana Kwa kuwa wewe ufana nishe na nguvu zako ni za ajabu na nguvu zako ni za ajabu na nguvu zako ni za ajabu na kubewe ufananishi thank you lord you are great you are great lord hakuna jambo zuri kama kukufuata ye so kwetu ni rafiki wa biwa is calling you to be his friend. 
na kuambia anakuita uwe baadhi ya wale watu ambao anasema they dwell in the sacred place of the most high ambao ukienda sokoni au uingie ndege au wede anywhere demons you will see something bible says he who dwells in the sacred place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty ukifungua duka kama unauza magari Mombasa road something will be seen around you this person is abiding under a shadow that cannot be avoided kuna kitu kinavuta customers kwako mapepo ikirushwa kwako haina space the shadow covers you the shadow of the almighty what pendo god is calling us tumekuwa wa kawaida sana tumefanana na majirani sana lakini lazima ijulikane leo who worship god who worship the true god hiyo ndio ilifanya elija aseme ajibiwa na moto ndio ijulikane kwamba jehova ndiye mugu peke yake na elija ni mtumishi wake hiyo ndio bwana alinena katika malakai wakati kulipatikana watu jehova akasema na waandikwe kwenye kitabu cha kubukubu and god said it shall be known who is righteous and who is not righteous god want to prove that you are his servant baba tunakupenda tutakutumikia tutaishi kwako you are our hope you are our strength jehovah is my shepherd i will never lack god we give you praise tuna maadui wengi lakini utatawadalia meza mbele yao jina lako libarikiwe kuna watu wanafikiri tunaisha lakini siri ya Jehova itatuzaa kwa jia bao even the devil you not understand we love you lord umekuja hapa kuna vita unapitia unasikia kama roho itasimama kuna ukavu unapitia paka akili yako inakosa nguvu kuna maandui wamekuzunguka paka wanakuonyesha wewe hauna maana. Kuna uchungu napitia unaokuambia wewe ni mtumwa wa uchungu. Na kuambia leo Jehova anataka kuonyesha. Yeye ndiye amekuokoa. And you bear his name. Na nitakuombea na itajulikana kwamba Jehova ako upande wako. Itajulikana the Lord is on your side. Waweza kuwa wanao kuinukia ni wengi sana. But if God be on your side na uko peke yako, you are the majority. You are the majority. The issue is not the number. The issue is Mungu ako upande wa nani? There could be millions that is not the issue the issue is ni nani mungu amesimama naye and from today you are the one you are the one oh wakikuinukia the whole market they will be surprised you are the majority waweza kosa watu lakini the angels around you are so many waweza kosa marafiki lakini the lord is your shepherd the lord is your friend the lord is your everlasting portion it will be known i'm not alone a burning fire burning angels from heaven i'm connected na malaika gabrieli na malaika mikaeli mikaeli ameambiwa can you go with this person fight fight his battles enemies are fought na methodology that men cannot comprehend Jesus fight their battles. Uko katika such crisis, we want to finish them now. Ina mkono wako tuju. Unapitia mambo ambao inataka kukufanya kama wewe si mtu wa kukaa na amani. Mungu atakupa amani ya razima. Utacheka when they don't want expect you to. Utacheka wakati hawa expect you check. Utaamuka wakati wanafikiria kwabo umekufa. Utapata pesa ya kingdom pesa ya kingdom pesa ya kifaume pesa ya kifaume ambao nobody could think ungepata 
njia itafunguka mahali wagafikiria walikojea ishara wakagojea njia lakini Mungu alileta mvua alileta maji hawakuona mvua lakini maji ulipata wewe ina mkono yako na nenea maadui wa wako kutoka kwa kiti cha enzi na kwa damu ya Yesu na fumba vinywa vyao na fumba vinywa vyao na angamiza mapepo yaliyoagizwa ya kuhagaishe na yateka nyara na kuamuri aende kuzimu katika jina la Yesu na inukia ibada za giza ambazo zimefanywa nyumba yako na zibomoa kwa uwezo wa damu ya Yesu jeshi na mapepo linaowinda watoto wako ili wakuhagaishe ninaliondoa na achilia malaika wa Bwana walinde uzao wako walinde uzao wako katika jina la Yesu magonjwa yaliyoagizwa ya kuwe ninayagambiza kwa neno la Bwana aliye hai sauti yote ya kukuvunja moyo na yagambiza pokea faraja pokea faraja sitokazo kwa kiti cha enzi May the Lord bless you with days and season of refreshment. Pokeni majira ya starena kupumzika. We all receive the season of rest. Receive the season of rest. Na kutoka leo badala ya kusubuka, may God give you assets. Ujenge manyumba, upanue mipaka kwa maana majira ya kusubuka yameisha majira ya kuhagaika yameisha pokea majira ya maendeleo establishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ come on me I mean receive I say receive 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 in Jesus name amen Tukushukuru Bwana imetendeka. Wapendwa imetendeka. Believe it. Kuanzia sasa tutebea safari ya righteousness. Usijichafue. Usiige. God is on your side. Uko hapa unajua hujaokoka. Satan amekutumia sana.